Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill rack daily challenge using Python programming language. Now let us understand our question. We have to accept two integers n and x. Then we have to print the s cross s matrix of the matrices where s is the square root of n. We have also given a note that x is always a perfect square. Now consider the test case where the n is 1 and x is 16 then s is the square root of n that is 4. Now these are the two main rows. So these are in the pattern like plus first then we have iPhone repeated for n times. So iPhone asterisk for n times then a plus. So this is repeated for s times. So yeah, iPhone for one time and this is repeated for four times that is s is four. Now the same thing for this pattern also. So here it is asterisk, here it is the pipe symbol. Now for clear understanding we will separate into several parts. First we will print this manually, the first, first row. Then for the other rows we will use the for loop for row in range yes that is for row in uh, for four times so we have got four uh, then the for every iteration for every iteration we'll have one row because our n is one so now we'll see the code for b row in range yes for row in range n so this will print this then we'll have this so now we'll consider our next test case for clear understanding Here the n is 2 and the x is 4 then the s is 2 that is square root of 4 so our pattern would be this now instead of this we will have some modifications so yeah First we'll have plus then the iPhone for the n times that is 2 then this is repeated for 2 times as our s is 2. So same here. So we'll use the line separated line and get our output. So for b row in range of for s then for row in range n that is we have got the two rows for n and thus we have got our output. Let us implement our program. First we will get our inputs. Then for clear understanding we will take our test case. So first we have to print this manually right. So for that we will use the function print row separate r then we have separated and to print the other rows we use the for loop and iterate them for b row in range yes then to print these we have to iterate for the n times to get the rows so for row in range n The 
we'll use the function print row and after that we'll again use the print row separator since the pattern is repeating now we will define them the print row separator will print first the plus symbol then we'll have the hyphen repeated for n times so asterisk n then the plus then this will be repeated for s times so you can clearly see that they are repeated for the n times hyphen then they are totally repeated for s times so we will define the print row we will have some modifications here that is instead of plus we will have the pipe symbol we have done with our code now let us execute our program We'll run our first test case. The output is correct. Then we'll run our next test case. Here also we have got our correct output. Then we'll run our third test case. The output is correct, as discussed in logic video. Hope you guys understand. Thanks for watching. See you next video.